Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to add a social login widget or option to your online store in Shopify from scratch. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to actually do this is quite simple. And the first thing that you guys need to do is you want to make sure that you're logged into your Shopify account like I have here. So I'm currently in the dashboard. And the idea is we would need to get access to um, the Shopify store online. So this will redirect us to a page showing a list of all of the compatible plugins and um, apps that we can add to our Shopify store. And the idea here is we're looking to get um, access to a one-click social login, which is a site builder that has a built-in social login widget to uh, that they can add to your Shopify store, or we can use something else like Elementor, for example. So um, let's actually um, go to the store. So the idea here is you guys would want to click on settings like so. And once you're in this page right here, you'd want to click on apps and sales channel. And then from here, you would want to select Shopify app store. So this is actually going to open up a new tab where we will get to add new plugins or apps to our store. And the one we're looking for here is a, a one click social. Click social. So if you don't see it right away, you guys can actually um, click on the search bar like so and hit enter. And here we are. So we're looking for one click social right here. So there are a couple of different ones to choose from here, but the ones I recommend are a social login by DevCloud or one click upsell as this one actually contains the uh, social login um, widget that we need to add to your website. So um, in this case, let's go with social login by DevCloud. And from here, this should take you to their store page where you would want to click on install. Now it goes without saying that some plans in Shopify will come with um, a price as you can see here, but some also come with uh, free versions that don't have all of the bells and whistles, but should provide you with the fundamental functions that you need to run your store. So I'm going to click on install like so. And another one we're going to try is the site builder. I actually forgot the name of the one that I used to, I believe it was eComposer is the one that you need. So let's install this one as well. authorize this, make sure that um, it properly integrates with our Shopify. We'll do the same for eComposer, like so. And here we are. So here's normally what the uh, builder looks like, and you will actually have the option to add a social login, as you guys can see from this photo right here. And the same goes for eComposer. But um, it's actually, um, I believe it's 7616. Let's try this. Okay, hold on. Okay, so here we are. And from here, if we were to um, edit our store, our storefront, like so, click on next. Let's do something random real quick. This will pull up the site builder. <laughs> So you have two options. You can either use one click social login like so, or you can do this and you can actually select a new section here, type social. Actually, I believe that was under elements, not nav uh, navigation. So social, here we are. So you basically just drag this icon into a container and there should be an option to log in their socials or to redirect them to um, our socials. And that's honestly all there is to it. So yeah, thank you for watching the video. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.